So I'm sitting here with uh, Chris from LionAid. Uh, I want to show you guys what they're doing at the moment out in uh, Kenya. Um, Chris, can you explain what's happening in this picture? Yes, this is this is the first Manyata that we equipped. A Manyata is a village. Um, and to equip every household in that village with an interior light for the first time that will have a light in their houses and to put six lights around the outside of the, the village perimeter fence, the Manyata fence, which you can just see there behind the people, you need solar panels. So these six large solar panels are what's required to equip a village. This village has got 26 houses in and those six panels will do it. So this is them starting the construction of the first village. Great. So and so they get these solar panels and that then powers the lighting in the house and the lighting around the village. Absolutely, it does. It, it, it powers the whole lot. And the whole beauty of putting a light in the house before that, all they had was kerosene lamps, which are toxic. They're dangerous, they're expensive, and they can cause fires because they can go over and they don't give out much light. So, so you... suddenly they have got a light. Each each household has got a light for the first time in their houses. This means that the kids can do their homework, at, 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 you know, um, in the house. They can see what they're doing and their quality of life. It's not only improved, it's transformed. So they're getting a benefit from the project by having the lighting in the house. They are. And then the lighting around the village, you explain what that's doing in terms of uh, mitigating the problem with the lions. Right. Well, if I if I go on and show you, I'll come back to some of these. But if I go to that one, now you can see here, that's what the lights look like at night around the outside. And a lion or any other predator coming by sees those lights and that to them is massive danger because it's men with torches. And you've done this in three villages so far. Three villages we've and done this is, in. And, and, and it is reduced or almost eradicated has, the problems those, with lions. In those three villages, it has totally eradicated the predation. No predator has come anywhere near since the lights went in and the the other massive benefit of this is that these these community members have always associated lions with danger that need to be destroyed the lions need to be destroyed and suddenly they are now associating lions with good things happening in their lives absolutely good things happening and so they are so delighted so they then decided that they wanted to put signs up so it should say a lion proof <laughs> boma. Um, explain to uh, people watching what a boma is, Chris. A boma is a cattle enclosure. So um, where you'll see, if I go back, you can see the, the, the houses and let's get back to this one. Behind the, the people, you can see that, um, that thorn bush fencing. The thorn bush fencing encloses around the village and the cattle sit in the middle. So a boma is an enclosure made of thorn bush fencing, which is meant to keep the the uh, the livestock safe from predation. Brilliant. OK, so that's uh, there are 58 villages that you're aware of. Um, and you, there are 58 villages in you've this You've been able ecosystem. to help three so far. We have. And uh, we've, we'll finish with this lovely video here. You just can't help but be inspired by this, this lady seeing the light in her house for the first time. Yeah, she is absolutely delighted. Suddenly she's got light in her house. And, you know, the children in school, when we first went to the school, the children were drawing pictures of, of cows with lions on their back and saying lions are dangerous. Now they're saying lions are our friends because suddenly... The lions are bringing good things into their lives. And these children are so delighted. They are so delighted. And they all donate cows to the project. So the way it works is we don't give them the lights for free. They all have to donate a couple of cows or sheep or goats to the project. Brilliant. So and, that's getting them involved and getting their buy-in. And and it's yeah. called an insurance herd. And what happens is that if any of the villages anywhere in the whole ecosystem, in all 58 villages, anybody loses an animal to predation, they will get one of these cows back. 
That's great. Um, and so they're all already benefiting from it. So there's a goat that's been donated. There's two little boys, two school children. There's the lights outside um, of one of the villages that's been done. And as we sit here talking, the third village is being equipped as we speak with the lights. That's so, brilliant. Thanks, Chris. Thanks for explaining that. And I can see the good work that Lion Aid are doing there.